Well, political concerns on the rise. Is there anything in the market that you should be buying right now after the big decline that we had on Wednesday? Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. Mark Tepper and Boris Schlossberg are your guests. Boris, I'll begin with you. Is there something you should be, you know, maybe VIX or, the, or protection? Is there something people should be buying right now? Well, I'm going to surprise you. I think the interesting trade here, if you want to protect and if you think there's further political risk, which I think there very well may be, is actually Bitcoin, which I consider to be the new gold. It's had a massive rally already. It's, it's had a huge rally in April, but it's holding at very, very um, steady highs right now. And typically when you have a big move, whether it be um, any kind of instrument, you generally are going to have some continuation. It's clearly signaling, I think, more demand. So I like that as a, as a hedge play going forward. Yeah, and another record high for Bitcoin on Wednesday as well. All right, uh, Mark Tepper, is there anything you think that your clients or our viewers should be buying right now? Yeah, go global. So uh, invest internationally. Uh, most investors are still overweight U.S. stocks at the expense of international stocks. And it's easy to see why, because U.S. stocks have significantly outperformed international since 2008 or 2009. These trends typically last about five to 10 years, and then they reverse themselves. So we think we're at the point now where international stocks should begin to outperform U.S. stocks for the next five to 10 years. It's pretty obvious that political risk is shifting towards the U.S. Global growth is so much stronger than U.S. growth. And if you look at the S&P 500, globally oriented companies, which are those companies that are getting at least 50 percent of their revenues from overseas, are, are completely crushing the domestically oriented companies this earnings season. The, the, those globally oriented companies have seen earnings growth of 20 percent versus the domestic at, at 10 percent. So, you know, with the valuations being stretched here domestically uh, in the international indices really uh, outperforming the, the U.S. stock market this year, I would be shifting towards international. OK, shifting toward international and Bitcoin, two very interesting ideas. Uh, and that's why we have you on. Mark and Boris, thank you both very much. We appreciate it. Thank Folks, you. thank you for tuning in to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you again. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.